Hello everyone, and welcome to another furry feature. This time we're playing a game called Mushroom for Two. A game where we are focused on trying to get to the surface in the middle of a war between two factions. Meanwhile though, we're also a adorable lizard dragon cook guy. And so we can also grow mushrooms throughout the cave that we are stuck in. And uh, feed the armies to basically try to calm them down and make our adventure easier. It's an interesting game that originally started as a game a game, uh, game jam game, uh, but it's gotten improved and fleshed out into a slightly slightly bigger game on this person's site. Alligator Alligator Ventures, also the creators of Gifts of Ember, which was another furry feature game I featured, uh, involving dragons and kobolds, and they were cute. And actually, a lot of people like that video. So hey, let's check out more games for this developer. Why not? Uh, but in any case, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so because every number makes a difference. Even one extra person is really amazing and it's really great to have you around. And, uh, I'd love to talk to you. So, come on by. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if we want to buy some cool stuff. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. So here's how the gameplay loop works. After years of perfecting your craft underground, it's time to set up shop on the surface. But the journey upwards is dangerous. Perhaps feeding the combatants would satisfy them, and there are plenty of mushrooms to go around. So our objective is to mouse click to place mirrors, click them again to flip them, right click them and remove them. Mushrooms need light to grow, simply stand over mushrooms to harvest them. No one's here to hurt you, but take care not to get caught in crossfire. Also, I apologize in advance if, if there is any um, weird sound issues, because I'm noticing the browser-based games are a little finicky sometimes. The first surface is treasure. So our objective is to work upwards, but we can't do it instantly. We have a timer in the corner. You can't see it. Well, you can. 35 humans, 35 beasts. That's, I guess, the factions. And I have a timer. Timer runs out. we got to do some restaurants tiering, so I shouldn't waste time. But I am to explain things, so. Sabotage you, my own effort. Also, people will fight. And I need to stay away from that. Uh, ideally. Seems like I can place mirrors as long as, as long as it's on screen, I can place pretty much anywhere. That's pretty handy. The objective, I guess, we'd want to start with is just trying to set up as many... Excuse me. Ow. Oh, I just lost a bunch of time. Oh, no! I got hit twice, and each time I lost 30 seconds. That was a big deal. Hello. What do you have for me today, Chef? I, I don't. That's okay, Chef. I'm sure you'll cook something great next time. At least you're encouraging me. Sorry I didn't bring any mushrooms. I got shot by arrows. Oh, hello. Make it quick about the clock. I don't have food. You know what, coin? Don't waste my time, then. Oh, no, he's hot. I didn't get his coin. Shad. The monster is disappointed in your lack of stock. Things will be a lot smoother if you feed them. I'll, I'll try to next time. The mirrors I set up, though, they stick around, so... That should help. So, mushrooms take time to grow. And in the lower left, you can see... The four mushrooms... Well, I, I don't know where I landed. Hold on. Four mushrooms... Uh, means... Good things, I don't know. It means we get to actually make a meal. Oh no. S sir, you li literally aimed for me. That was rude. Oh god, nope, too much violence. Better to waste time avoiding attacks than getting hit. Oh my god, okay, guys, please. Okay, I can make one mil now. <laughs> hmm. So 
So it's interesting, I need to make sure as many mushrooms as possible can grow with the light, but... I also need to make sure I can see where I'm going with the light, too. It's pretty easy to, um... Not see where the platforms are. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna chill out here and get this next mushroom. Don't shoot me, please. So please, 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 I just want... One of these... Oh, I'm not gonna make a second build time. Ah, just barely. Hello, knight. <laughs> Hell, chef! I've traveled far and wide to taste thy famed cuisine. Fantastic! Exquisite! That was not disappointing me. I shall return. I fed them. Cannot feed this person, though. I do not have enough mushroom. I have no choice but to eat here. These aren't poisonous, right? So they were poison! Let me speak to your manager. Oh, no. Karen got a bow. Hello. Oh, my God. Everybody wants food now. What do you have for me today, chef? I don't... Oh, he's so encouraging. He's always like, it's okay. It's I understand. I need way more mushrooms. I think the mushrooms really grow in the same places. The humans are getting hungry. Make sure you have more food in stock and they grow more, only grow more desperate. I need to stop people's hangriness. That's basically what my job is. And I'm doing a very bad job of that. Basically, need to zigzag these mirrors, but doing so is difficult when. Okay, got some more. At least the mushrooms I collected last time still count for this time. Beware of arrows. Try. Where, actually, where is everybody? And also, why are there, like, no mushrooms anywhere here? What the hell? Okay. You know what? Oh. Not sure what caused these to grow, but I'll take it. Apparently, I was missing all the good mushrooms. All right. Trying to open some one minute. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't mind me, I'm just doing a very convoluted mirror setup. Okay, now I can make three mills. That's much better. What's this say? This this way not working? Try another. Uh okay. I have three bills ready. <laughs> well, yeah, for me today, Chef. Oh, good, the, the friendly guy finally gets a bill. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Your mushrooms are the best for us monsters. Very good. Oh, it's Karen. I have no choice but to eat here. You better like this. <laughs> hmm, it's palatable. I'll give you a good rating. It's a better outcome with most, than most Karens. <laughs> Hell, Chef, I'd once again like to sample your finest cuisine. At least he's polite. Fantastic! Exquisite! You've not disappointed me. I shall return. Notice the scores actually go down by five each time I feed one of them. Hmm. You're doing a good job feeding the humans. It may be safer to explore higher up. Maybe. Just maybe. Also, I can't even see where I'm going. Ah. Now I can. Now, where the hell is the end of my mirror path? I don't even know at this point. You're, keep your humans fed, okay? Okay, fine, jeez. Don't mind me as I mastermind the most convoluted path for growing things.
As you may notice, the optimization here is to try to cover both platforms above and below the beam light if possible. Best way to actually get, like, a lot growing. Oh, is that not going either? Okay. You know what? Screw that one particular mushroom. I don't care about it. I think the closer the light is, the... Oh, God. No, I didn't even stand. This is not a good place to stand. All right. Please leave the poor chef alone. Very close to a very good result here. Hold on. Nope. Not when I'm so close. Okay, good. I got it. Oh, oh no, I can't get up there. How do? Actually, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. I'll figure it out next time. Hell, Chef, I would once again like to find sap in your finest cuisine. Yes. Mushroom cuisine is the best cuisine. Actually, mushrooms are pretty good for you. Oh, we got the handsome guy. Make it quick, I'm on the clock. It's not very nice, but that's fine. Let's see what he thinks. No, that's the good stuff. Make sure you don't share any with the humans. A little late on that. Monsters have become less hangry. <laughs> that's how I could even call it. Savor explore close to the surface. They say they keep saying, "Oh, it's safer to go up now." It's like that's cool. How? <laughs> like I don't know how to go up. Ah, I think I get it. I contemplate if it's worth wasting time on this one mushroom, but you know, whatever. I think, uh, to actually go up, I would like to go this way. There we go, now I found the way up. God damn it. It's fine. I knew that was going to get dangerous if I stuck around. <laughs> At least I'm a reasonably good jumper. There we go. I gotta get this light beam upwards. Where, is it? Where did I put it? The fuck does it start? Where the fuck does it end? Alright. It's whatever. My god! <laughs> Holy shit! Everybody appeared! <laughs> the archer fi fairly fired his own out. Did he? What a jerk! Only two. Keep it the good work. Fiend everyone will make the surface safer. G good, because, gosh, it's kind of hard to get up to. Also, it feels like a lot of time has to be spent just climbing. Because navigating the right path is a little tricky.
Whoa. Chill out, man. <laughs> oh, arrows from nowhere. That's that's great. Uh oh. literally shot me. Well, shot at me, rather. Oh. I don't know where I am. Okay. Well, here's a treasure trove of mushrooms. <laughs> one, one second. I shall persist. Dude, why did you do that? There was nothing but monsters. Why the fuck, man? That was just rude. <laughs> I'm legitimately offended. I'm a monster too, asshole. Probably, at least. I think I am. There is much danger to be had here. One moment. Literally, he just like, well, I, I'm here with my multiple monster allies. I better as well just throw an attack. Like, well, what the fuck, man? And this. I do have plenty of mushrooms, so maybe I'll just focus on excursion. It's rude to get hit because that's a whole 30 seconds. The 30 seconds is a lot of time. So it kind of sucks. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm fat! <laughs> Can't fit through gap. Right, uh, I'm good. Ooh. Oh wow, I drew a treasure trove over here. Like, I think there's an attack coming. I don't want this. I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Thank you. With all these attacks going around, I don't want to be in the darkness. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I moved from that location. All right. Oh God, sir! Why would you attack the chef? You don't attack the chef. I just want to move this mirror! Okay, fine, whatever. Jerks. I think, supposedly I've lowered the humans and beast meters down to the lowest they can get, but I'm still getting a little bit wrecked here. Uh, I got a new path. Fuck that path. <laughs> that earlier path was just not fun. Let me know when you guys are done murdering each other. It's be over here. Well, there's like a red archer that does red archer things. He's very dangerous. Oh, I'm in the surface. Oh shit. Hell yes, food. Expand your business, chef, for this delicious new product. Your customers will be thrilled. Get out there and start selling. I have I have learned of the amazing new product known as Apple. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there we go. We got it. I mean, I lowered the I lowered the uh, I lowered the hangriness meters for both factions down to the lowest they could get five. It didn't seem to go any lower than that. So I'd say that's a proper win. <laughs> the end. I will sell Apple. I hope this works. <laughs> Hopefully we can still collect mushrooms. I think that might be our uh, expertise, honestly. But that's... <laughs> there you go. That was Mushroom for two. 
it's a it's a slightly messy game concept, but also kind of a neat one. The idea of like here's a bunch of things fighting and you're not involved, you're actually a pacifist. I like that idea. Where you're a pacifist and nobody's fighting you, but they are fighting each other, so it's all about just crossfire that you have to worry about. It is kind of neat as a concept. I think other games could explore that. Uh, where like, because there's a lot of games where you are a pacifist or you don't fight, but those games usually are pretty peaceful games too, where there's not a lot of fighting involved uh, with the game. But a game where there's actually fighting happening, you're just not one of the fighters, is an interesting idea. I, I think that game could be expanded upon. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let us wish that this apple selling business goes well for us. <laughs> I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, that was Mushroom for two. I hope you guys liked that little game.